strategy is a form of problem solving. A problem can be solved when it is understood in a better way. Deep understanding of the challenges being faced is the process of diagnosis. Mold contamination is one of the biggest challenge for feed industry. Mold not only deteriorates the quality of the feed, but also having economic impact and more than that, it impacts the brand of the feed. In today's video, we will try to diagnose the problem associated with the mold contamination so that you can make your strategy in a much better way. You are watching Mill Talk. I am Sarwar Ali from Kemin. Good morning, Manab. Good morning, good morning. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. So, Manab, um, you are welcome to Mill Talk Show. Mein. Thank you. And uh, this show is basically we uh, cover mill processes, feed safety, and okay. in general concept of the feed milling. So, okay. today I invited you for a very important subject which is related with the feed safety. Okay. Great. So, what is your thought on the subject of feed safety as current weather condition of monsoon? Okay. Uh, if you see monsoon and both in monsoon and summer, we are facing a lot of challenges mm -hmm. due to the environment. Mm -hmm. Especially in South Asia, if you see, the environment this time remains very much challenging mm -hmm. for the feed processing. The temperature and humidity both remains high. Okay. The humidity I am seeing that for last, not, in, not only for last few years, every year, mm -hmm. this time humidity remains very high. Okay. It goes more than 80%. Mm -hmm. And along with the temperature also remains very high. Mm -hmm. It goes more than 30 degrees centigrade. Right, right. So it's a combination of both moisture and temperature. Okay. Right. So monsoon is a uh, contributor in both temperature as well as the moisture and which is related with the feed safety, right? Yes, yes. Dear audience, uh, Manab is having more than 10 years of experience in feed milling and feed safety. And he has the degree in B.Tech, M.Tech and MBA and very deep knowledge he is having on this subject. Our day is the office is mm -hmm. You are invited on Sunday. So, no problem. Manab, tell me one thing that how you look at processing uh, as a parameter when we are talking about the feed safety. Yeah, processing is very important right. because uh, due to non-maintenance of process processing parameters, we are getting many problems. Mm -hmm. So, this is very important. And if you talk on processing parameters, there are certain important consideration that feed millers must maintain. Mm. Like for example, temperature. Mm. Temperature is very important mm. and they should record it. They should monitor it in different processing stages, okay. starting from grinding till bagging. Okay. So ideally they should record the temperature at the grinding level, feed temperature mixer, conditioner, cooler and bagging level. Okay. And the most important factor is temperature at the conditioner and mm. at the bagging and cooling level. Okay, you mean to say yes. we have to record the temperature at every process, but the conditioner and cooler is the most, most important. important. Right. Because I am seeing that many places, they are not able to maintain proper conditioning mm. temperature. Okay. They are maintaining sometimes 60, 65, 70, but mm. ideally it should be for poultry feed production, mm. it should be more than 75 degrees centigrade. Okay. But very sometimes due to different challenges mm. operators are could not maintain okay so that time we cannot expect or cannot ensure proper mold and bacteria killing okay because apart from temperature other factors apart from temperature moisture mm. very important moisture and as well as water activity okay both need to be recorded because so. many feed mills we are not recording water activity mm -hmm. but in true sense water activity is a true indicator of free moisture okay any feed material yeah but uh, free water is yeah. the place where the mold contamination happens yes like, so yeah. that that need to be monitored mm -hmm. and along with that process moisture at different stages that need to be monitored okay and here moisture i'm talking at the finished feed and cooler level okay. whether feed is properly cooled or not that okay. is also we can measure from okay. this so temperature and water activity apart from this another apart factor. from this we need to have proper processing time okay that means the time we are giving for cooling time we are giving for conditioning both are important okay because at present times we are seeing that we are not able to maintain desired conditioning time hmm. 
due to different challenges in the mm. machinery side mm -hmm. or the design is not that much that that they are giving proper conditioning time mm. well, what is your recommendation for conditioning minimum time? 30 second should be there okay. but we are i am seeing that many feed mill and for cooler chamber. what is the conditioning time here cooling time ideally it depends on the type of there are different factors are there okay. cooling time it depends on your pellet diameter okay depend on hot pellet temperature mm. weather condition weather mm. condition means weather humidity temperature it depends okay. but the it should be sufficient to give feed temperature at ambient temperature so compared to summer season monsoon needs more cooling time yeah monsoon ideally many times we see that it needs more cooling time because in environment we are having heat and moisture mm. so suppose in winter the cooling time is compared to less than monsoon and summer season because at that time the moisture can be removed lesser mm. because you are already having moisture right so that the cooling time should need to be properly maintained to give the feed at proper ambient temperature and safe level of moisture apart from timing what the are you apart from there's one more important consideration that many feed mill need to record is ambient temperature and humidity okay so they should install weather station mm -hmm. weather station means hygrometer simple hygrometer if they install near to cooler mm -hmm. or bagging area they can record the temperature and humidity of air okay and based on that they can manage the cooling process they can manage the air flow rate mm -hmm. retention time so all this they can manage so that that's also important area that feed miller should look into okay and now i am seeing that many feed millers are doing this okay this practice becoming common it's becoming right? becoming yeah. common because they are they are getting aware of the impact of environment on feed milling process okay and another important factor is that what is the raw material we are procuring what is the quality of that raw material but that Whether, how uh, as a feed miller will ensure raw material it is uh, they are getting from the mandi or from uh, yes. traders so how they yeah, will yeah, ensure yeah. it they should ensure because the procurement person they can mm. ensure through the qqa team and qc team okay they should be aligned it's not like that qc is working differently production is looking differently and product purchase is working differently they should work combined and they should have single goal this is our goal of finished feed quality so, so do you recommend any sop should be prepared uh, for procurement definitely. and quality definitely okay. they should sit together mm. they should act on it as per the company policy mm. they should work they should decide the standard of raw material procurement how much the mold should be there in raw material and what is the mold level of finished feed before dispatch to the market so okay. all this important so you are mentioning four important or five important factor one is the temperature and there is uh, your uh, water activity humidity retention time and procurement processes sure. these five factors should be intact when we are talking about the processes responsible for feed safety yes, right definitely definitely that is very much important right manav aapne kaha ki cooler jo hai bahut important hai feed safety ke aspect se ji mera question ye hai ki aap hamare paas summer season hai monsoon hai aur winter hai so how we will optimize according to season yeah we need to optimize the cooling performance or cooler based on the season that means temperature and humidity of the air okay so it needs different management in different time mm -hmm. and also along with the management here actually we need to have other consideration also mm -hmm. along with the weather okay the hot pellet temperature because the pellet hot pellet that is coming out of the die mm. it is very important mm. because the temperature and moisture that is coming out of the die we need to reduce the temperature and moisture to the safe level so mm -hmm. that we can pack it okay and also along with that the fines that mm. is coming out of the die that is also important because many times we are not fines yeah dust from how the hot dust pellet. is important here dust is important why because it is creating barricade in the air flow okay because more dust it is creating some barrier to the air flow and feed is not properly efficiently cooling i can say So, so that's dust is, is creating barrier creating barrier okay so that is important that's why sometimes we see that operators are checking the mm. dust okay. it is not only in terms of feed physical quality is important but also the safety safety purpose it is important okay 
so that's why we need to we need to have proper control on this and we need to record this mm. what is the temperature hot pellet temperature what is the hot pellet moisture how much dust we are getting at the dye outlet mm -hmm. and also pellet diameter also important factor in the cooling mm -hmm. the more diameter pellet bigger size pellet it needs more cooling more air flow okay so that that's how it need to be optimized another important factor that we are discussing the air flow mm. air flow rate also need to be dependent on the air quality that air flow air. rate means in terms of low medium high like that yeah air flow rate that means it it needs to be optimized based on the type of feed the season okay it need to be optimized so that feed is properly efficiently cooled what happens now sometimes when you are doing too much air flow that means especially the velocity of air if it is mm. too high yeah. what happens it do kind of case hardening of what thing. is case hardening case hardening means it seems that it is cooled mm. and the surface of the cooler mm. it will be cooled some hardening will happen because you are cooling the feed very fast mm. so the surface will get hard and cooled mm. if you see the pellet it's very hard you mm. cannot break it mm. properly from the surface mm -hmm. but what happens the inside there will be moisture okay. moisture entrapped it is not cannot properly come out because your case hardening happens so moisture within the pellet it will remains mm. and temperature also remain high okay once it get time during the feed storage that will come out it mean create condensation yes exactly in the feed bags during the storage it will create condensation mm. and it will be lumps formation in the feed so mana aap ye batai ki as a operator main kaise samjhunga ki bahar ka surface to mujhe lag raha hai ki thanda ho gaya hai cool phir andar agar exactly, cool exactly. nahi hua it's a very very valid question because every feed miller it's they should know there should be it comes with experience basically okay the feed millers and operators comes with experience the more they feel the feed that is coming out of the die jitna wo log experience karenge cheezon ko pellet ko lenge unka experience ho jayega ki ye mera feed jo aa raha hai die se this is very much hard okay that is one indication it should not be too hard mm. and also they can do it they can keep the feed in the bag mm. after packing and they can store it mm. for few days and they can see whether the condensation is happening or not okay so with this experiment they can come to know what should be my cooler optimization how much we should do the air flow rate mm -hmm. how much it should be so these are the kind of experience and i can say trial and error method they can do for that particular feed mill because each feed mill is unique each location is unique its environment is different so its type of feed is raw material everything is different so they need to standardize all the process based on the feed mill location okay and here one more important factor that we need to consider the material level inside the cooler okay because depth of the bed depth of the bed or type of depth because i have seen that uh, i have visited some feed mill there is not maintaining proper uniformity of the feed inside cooler mm -hmm. so what will happen na sometimes one place there is a very uh, depth is very high mm -hmm. and another side depth is very low okay so what will happen na there will be uneven cooling inside the cooler one side we are not able to efficiently cool due to the big depth mm. another side we are over cooling mm. so what will happen na there will be uneven moisture and uneven temperature within the cooler right right and within the same feed bag also we can experience different kind of moisture and temperature feed that is getting packed mm. what will happen na if the bag is laminated mm. when we are putting into that different moisture and temperature feed into the bag there will be moisture migration within the bag okay and that moisture migration leads to condensation and as well as mold growth so you mean to say heap formation or slanting of the bed it is undesirable undesirable that's why in modern feed mills modern cooler there is some rotating arm is there right right which is slowly rotating to make the uniformity Uniform. of the feed inside the cooler so that is important okay so by this way we can optimize the, the our cooling, cooling process. process exactly and, and it's it very important and it helps important. in the and our yeah. feed safety aspects yes is right? it's, it's need to be properly managed by feed miller right manab aapne ab tak hame process ke bare mein aur cooling aur optimization ke bare mein bataya lekin mold ke zyada tar jo cases aate hain wo field se aate hain ya distributor place se aate hain to as a feed manufacturer main apne feed premise uh, factory premises ke andar sare process ko optimize kar raha hu lekin what about my storage place 
which is uh, having at the distributor place or at the farm. So how you will look at this issue? Yes, yes. We are getting many times problems from the field that our feed is not good. Mm. The farmers or retailers, dealers are complaining. Mm. But if you talk on the feed mill side, mm. the feed millers are saying we send the feed at good condition. Right. That means at right moisture, right temperature and right microbiological, all the parameters are okay, but still problems are coming. It is because maybe there are different challenges they are facing in the storage mm. or maybe the protocol, storage protocol is not properly maintained during the supply chain. That means in the dealer level or maybe distributor or maybe farmer level mm -hmm. because it needs very much focus in that stage. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? And in that place, places, there need to be certain protocol, storage protocol. What For are example, that protocols? Yeah. For example, if you see, uh, the stack height it's that stack. we should okay. stack height of the feed mm -hmm. that we should keep in the finished feed level in the maybe it's in the feed mill or dealer level or distributor level that is important mm -hmm. and that needs to de decide based on the our storage uh, type of feed or duration of storage mm -hmm. or the season it, we need to decide based on that so For normally example, what should be the size of its stacking stacking height Ideally, we keep it between 8 to 10. 8 to 10? 8 to 10 bags height. Okay. Because during summer, mm. during summer and monsoon, we should restrict it within 8 bags. Okay. And during winter, we may go up to 10 or 12 bags also, mm -hmm. based on the our uh, usage pattern or storage okay. pattern. So that is that is number one. And also, we sometimes we forget to keep sufficient aeration gap between the stack and bag between between bag and wall. You mean to say the uh, the space should be between two stacks and wall and its stacks, wall so and that stack. the aeration should aeration be proper. Should be proper. Right. Because uh, many feed mills they are not able to do or able to keep that much of Sometime ventilation. Sometimes the place is also constrained. There is no so much of the place to have the. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Major problem is coming due to this because I when I say the feed millers the feed mill person they are saying that where is the space there is no space we have to keep right. but if you see that one or one and a half feet gap it's mm -hmm. big it make big difference one and a half feet will not allow you to store much bigger mm -hmm. volume right. but you can keep your feet safe especially okay. during summer and summer i can say summer and monsoon this time is a special consideration should be given mm -hmm. your quality of the feed that you are sending it's need to be much more important than your volume of storage mm -hmm. that is that is thing so that is one number one number two is that how we are keeping the feed whether we are keeping directly on the floor mm. or we are keeping it on the some protection like plastic sheet we can give sometimes we say people keep the wooden uh, material also is it preferable yeah, wooden material earlier i have seen also but after that feed miller understood that it is not giving that much of protection rather it is deteriorating mm. because sometimes we have seen that uh, it is during monsoon, it absorbs moisture also mm -hmm. and it is further contaminating the feed right. due to the mold and bacteria growth. Insect also come in between mm -hmm. and that insects contaminating the feed. So that is actually not recommended and that's why feed millers are also understood and not doing that practice nowadays. But it is safe to have plastic, plastic uh, pellet or even plastic sheet also okay if you are storing for shorter duration. We have seen that distribution place uh, uh, most of the time contamination coming on the uh, lower bags means those who are having the lower side maybe one two or three number of the bags that is having the more contamination is mm -hmm. there any particular reason for that why because the because of the more pressure mm -hmm. that is fall on the lower bag mm -hmm. because more you are putting the stack height mm -hmm. it is having more pressure on the bottom bag mm -hmm. so more pressure means there will be moisture accumulation okay. in the bottom bags Mm -hmm. So that moisture accumulation means we can see that higher moisture leads to moisture migration within bag mm -hmm. and uh, condensation further due to the weather change and it will cause the lumps formation. Lumps formation. And lumps formation, if you see that's why bottom bag having more lumps. More lumps. Okay. Chances of lumps is more. Mm -hmm. So that's why stack height is important. We should not give more than 8 to 10 bag stack height. So that lower side pressure should pressure be? Pressure should be less. Less. Okay. And uh, that's why ventilation also important because Pressure as well as poor ventilation leads to more problem to the bottom bag. Okay. So these are the parameters. Yeah, parameters. 
parameters should you should follow. And also, sometimes you see the insects happens in insects. the raw material case. So, if the insect infestation is there, we should do the fumigation because if the insect happens, definitely it will cause higher moisture because once it eat, it releases moisture also. Right. And also that due to that, the outer surface coating, coating. that get deteriorate right. and it is attracting the mold because the coating acts as a barrier to the mold growth. Mm -hmm. And if it is in insect infestation happen, it will create further mold growth. So fumigation is also important. Fumigation important. also important. Right. Exactly. So these are the important storage right. practices we have to follow. Manab, ab ye cheez dekhen ke moisture migration jo ye kafi important hota hai. Summer season mein moisture feed se environment mein jata hai, jiske wajah se complain aata hai ke feed loss hua, weight loss hua. Lekin ab monsoon mein dekhen to migration jo hai, wo environment se feed ke taraf hota hai. So how you see that is in a feed safety aspect and should we use different kind of the packaging material in this season? And that's why we are seeing that uh, we are using different type of packaging material right. for storing the finished feed. Okay. So based on usage pattern mm -hmm. and duration of storage, mm -hmm. we are choosing whether okay. to go for non-laminated bag or laminated bag. Okay. So generally, if you see those who are integrator, mm -hmm. who are storing the feed for lesser duration, mm -hmm. they are preferring this non-laminated bag. Okay Which is economical also mm -hmm. and also it has advantage also mm -hmm. like if you are supposed by mistake, we have done some warm feed packing. Okay. Because warm feed means it has moisture as well as it has temperature. Right. So in non-laminated bag, it has opportunity, the feed mm. having opportunity to release excess moisture and heat mm. to the atmosphere. Right. That is the good part of it. Mm. But the bad part of it is that it can absorb moisture from the environment also. Mm -hmm. So it's a, especially during monsoon is a challenge. If you are storing the feed for longer duration mm. in non-laminated bag, it will absorb moisture from the atmosphere mm. and it can, it can increase moisture, water activity and subsequently mold growth. Okay. So you mean to say that uh, integration feed or commercial feed, we can different ways to analyze them. Yes. And on the analysis ke basis pe, or on the diagnosis ke basis, we can say hmm. whether we should go with the laminated verse or non-laminated. Non -laminated, but right. uh, the critical point we are saying that process should be standardized. If your yes. process is not standardized, so both bags have their advantages and disadvantages. Yes, yes. Right? Exactly, exactly. Right. Process means the temperature of packing. Hmm. We are discussing on the cooling. Here, cooling is very important. Right. Agar we are packing the warm feed hmm. because warm feed having moisture and temperature both hmm. is high so in that case what happens na, there will be moisture migration in case of laminated bag right because the excess moisture don't have opportunity to release to the air so it will be inside the bag hmm. and there will be moisture migration within the bag hmm. that's why sometimes we see na, that uh, there are complaints of lumps formation hmm. inside the laminated bag hmm. this happens mainly in the laminated bag Okay. Uh, from the farmer side or the, from the dealer side, they mm. are complaining. Right. So that may be because the moisture and temperature is not able to release. So that is the disadvantages of lamination. But the advantages is that it protects the environmental moisture because outside moisture during monsoon when it is uh, humidity is high, the direct excess moisture cannot pass into the feed. Mm -hmm. And also the rainwater cannot pass into the feed. So that's why the commercial feed miller, those who are sending the feed in the longer duration mm. during transportation, right. and it needs longer storage, they are preferring laminated bag. And they, based on their usage pattern also, there are different lamination quality. Okay. Sometimes maybe thinner lamination, sometimes thicker lamination. Mm. So they choose based on that. But okay. ideally, if you see both having their advantage and disadvantage, so based on the usage pattern or uh, what, what is the duration of uh, feed they are storing, whether they are integrated or commercial, they can choose whether mm. they can get, get for non-laminated or laminated. Right. So based on the, all the practices we all have. All the practices we can. Right. Okay. Manab, this segment is the last question. Maybe this is the last question. Do we need to do moisture addition in the feed? And if we do it, do we need to precaution? Yeah, it's actually a good question because many times I the, got this question from customer also. Mm. Uh, many, many one asking. So, uh, yeah, we can do. The answer is we can do the moisture addition during monsoon also. Mm. That means any period of the day, any period of the season, we can do the moisture addition. Okay. Uh, but 
here actually we need to record or measure the process moisture. Okay. So if process demands moisture addition, we can do. Process demand, what is the meaning of this? That means we need to suppose we are measuring the moisture at different places like mixer, conditioner, cooler and bagging. Mm -hmm. And each stage having different standards for moisture maintenance. And mm -hmm. that based on feed mill, it may varies. Right. But every feed mill should have the standard. Mm -hmm. So once suppose we are not achieving the standard, we mm -hmm. are lacking behind okay. to maintain the desired moisture at mixer level, mm -hmm. conditioner level. Mm -hmm. So that what are the deficit is there, we can add the moisture and maintain the desired moisture. Hold on one minute, Manab. You are saying that uh, if suppose conditioner, I'm taking the conditioner as a place where we are not getting the optimum moisture. So that may impact the quality of the feed. So in order to fulfill that, we have to add the moisture. And more important <coughs> thing that during monsoon, mm -hmm. we should add moisture with mold inhibitor, especially liquid mold inhibitor. Why after liquid? Mixing. Why not dry? Yeah, yeah, that is actually because people say that we are having, we are adding mold inhibitor, dry right. mold inhibitor, what is the problem? Liquid also okay, dry also okay, anything, mm. we are giving protection. But thing is that if you are adding dry mold inhibitor separately and moisture separately, mm. so the synergy doesn't happen properly. Okay. And the moisture that we are adding separately, there is a free moisture. Right. Right. So that is not getting protected mm. if you are adding separate dry mold inhibitor. So best thing is that that free moisture should be protected with liquid mold inhibitor, mm. liquid mold inhibitor with proper mixing of that, and then we can spray it in the mixer. Okay. So that's how it's a, we are sending protected water. Mm. So and here dosage of liquid mold inhibitor also very important. Dosage part. Dosage part. So dosage part varies in, in season to season. Yes, definitely because right now the challenges is more. Mm. We, so far we have discussed that there is challenge from weather mm. and challenge from uh, different uh, non-maintaining process parameter also. Mm. So, due to for protecting these challenges, we should have protection in our feed also. Mm. So that's why there should be different standards mm. of dosage during the season. Winter, different standard or different dosage recommendation. Summer and monsoon, different dosage recommendation. Mm. And we need to add mold inhibitor based on that recommendation. Okay. We cannot add suboptimal dosage okay. for, for, for protection. So if we are maintaining this, then I believe it is so, can be properly uh, done. If I understood clearly that yes, moisture addition can be done in monsoon also, if it is the demanding, yes. the process is demanding, but it should be proper protection there. Sure. And in proper protection, it should be the distribution of your mold inhibitor should be in the better way. And another is that the dose should not be compromised. Yes. Compromising the dose is uh, equally good that compromising the safety of the feed you mean to do, right yes exactly so exactly. any last comment for our audience yes uh, what whatever we have discussed is very important so you should not compromise on the processing parameter and also in the dosage also product so this is very important and uh, if we are maintaining this we can we can ensure the safety of feed we can get lesser complaint from the market so that is very much important. Thank you. Thank you, Mana, for coming in Mill Talk Show. Thank you very much. Thank you.